Hey guys, Bedinfos here and welcome to my most boring GTA video ever made! Yeah, I know, that's a terrible intro which probably made many of you close the video, but for the ones still left, welcome to hell! As many of you know, GTA Vice City Stories is the worst GTA game ever made. But it's not because of the story, not because of the city, missions or characters. Oh no, 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 my dear viewers, all of them are great. What annoys me the most is many of the side content required for 100% game completion. Today we're gonna complete the three most stupidly, annoyingly boring missions in the entire game. It will take me hours to complete and the rewards are totally not worth it. But they're required for 100% so I have to do them. Today we're gonna complete Air Rescue, Vice Sites, Firecopter, Beach Patrol. So let's start with the most boring one of them all, Air Rescue. In order to activate Air Rescue you need to enter a specific helicopter. There are two locations where the heli spawns one of which is here on top of the roof. And the other one is... Over here in the second island. What you have to do is, in order to activate the mission, is to enter the helicopter. And it's gonna activate by pressing the up button. So do that and there we go, we have activated air rescue. What we have to do in this mission is to rescue a patient, pick him up from the location and bring him to a hospital. This patient is very far away. Now this mission is available only after you complete From Zero to Hero which unlocks the second island. Even though there is a spawn location for a helicopter in the first island, it is not spawnable before that mission. So complete From Zero to Hero and afterwards you're gonna have this helicopter unlocked. Now why is this the most boring thing of them all? Well because it's gonna take me hours. It has 15 levels, no guys, it's not 5, it's not 10, it's not even 12. It is 15 stupidly stupid levels. Why would you do this, Rockstar? This is the most bo this is why I hate this game. I okay, I don't hate it. It's a good game, still. <laughs> but it's so boring. I have to do it for 100% completion. If I didn't have to do it, of course I wouldn't do it. Are you crazy? Look at this. All you have to do is fly from one place of the city to the other. The first levels are easy, you have to pick up one patient, afterwards we have to pick up more and more and more, and later on there's a lot more. In the later levels you also have wind to worry about, which makes flying a little bit harder, but it's not such a problem. Also the pop in this game suffers from huge pop in, even probably worse than San Andreas actually, yeah, so yeah. Oh guys, guys, also excuse any noise in the background, some people are making construction today of all days, but I don't care because nobody's watching this anyway because it's so mega boring, so yeah, I shouldn't care at all. Okay, let me show you how to pick up a patient, there we go, if you hear any noise, sorry about that, there we go, patient dude, come to papa, okay, I have picked up a patient, we have two hospitals in the game, and if you're close to one, you, ha you can use that one instead of the other one in the other island. So, as I showed you, we have two hospitals here. In the game, you don't have to return to the other one in the other city. Fortunately, at least we have that. And... Leave them over here. And there we go. Level 1 complete. I was hoping the mission would be complete, but no, it is not. Oh boy. As I said guys, 15 levels, 15 boring levels, and I'm actually gonna time my time, see how much time it took me to complete. I'm gonna bet an hour and a half at least, at least. As you can see, the second patient is on the other island. Yeah guys, let me show you. He is over here. The next one is probably gonna be over here. And then over here. And then again <laughs> over here. This is how stupid this mission is. So yeah guys, I'm not gonna bore you. Of course I'm not gonna bore you. Are you crazy? I will not show you all of this. I can't talk for two hours straight or three hours. If it's three hours, I would be crazy. We go crazy. 
the first time I did this, I was free the whole day. So I didn't care at all for the mission, how long it took me. I didn't time my time, I was listening to podcasts and whatnot. I'm gonna do the same thing again. Oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry, patient dude. I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna listen to a podcast, some music, and probably watch a movie actually while doing this stupid thing. And I'll see you guys at level 15. Oh boy, oh boy. It is almost done, guys. I'm so excited. Can you hear my voice? I'm actually super excited that it's almost over. But anyway, as you can see, we have. We can mark these. You can check the closest one. Mark it, go for the other one, then for the next one, and lastly take the the closest one to the hospital. There's a hospital over here. Currently it's showing me the other one because I'm closer to the other one. It's actually not showing me anything. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, you can uh, just end up at the last one over here. So let's go. Oh boy, took me such a long time. It has been an hour and 15 minutes so far. Doing the same exact thing, with no changes, except for some weather effects. Which made things a little bit more interesting, but it's still the same shit, guys. You do the same thing. Whoops. Wrong button. You do the same thing. Just go to the same locations, always pick up a patient. Also, something I forgot to mention is that after every 5 levels, you get a checkpoint, just like in Paramedic, Firefighter, and basically all the other missions which have 15 levels. Also, after level 7, you get 4 patients each time. With each level, you're gonna get 4 patients. So, for level 1 and 2, you get 1 person. For level 3 and 4, you get two people. Oh, winds are coming, winds! Anyway, for level... Wait a second, I have to mark it. Over here. Okay, so for level 4, you get 2. For level 5 and 6, you get 3. And from 7 onwards, you get 4 people with each level. And sometimes you get winds, like currently I hear the wind even. That's a nice sound effect actually, which this game has. Which I don't think San Andreas even has, but Liberty City, Liberty City Stories have it. I should investigate. So anyway, this is the last, the second to last person. I decided to show you the last level the, to the fullest. And unfortunately, right now we got the winds, which make things a little bit more difficult and a little bit more exciting, even though it's such a stupid ass mission. There we go, last person and the hospital is very very close to us. We have only 5 uh, minutes and 20 seconds more. Stupid mission. I told you guys, this, you shouldn't watch this video because it's so boring. If you want help with these missions, I'm, I don't know what to tell you. I can't really provide much help to you guys. Because if you do it the speedy way or the traditional normal way, it's, you're gonna do it, do it the same exact way, because there's no speedy way actually for this mission in particular. Many missions can be done in a fast, very fast, and basically skip half the mission, you can skip half the missions in the game by using some tricks I show you, but for this one especially, you can't, you have to do this. It has been an hour and 20 minutes, I guess, so far. The reward is cool, but it's not worth it. Cause it's boring. There we go. Last person has been delivered. Almost. Last people have been delivered. And there we go. Level 15 has been completed. 6,000 bucks. And the reward is you get more health. You get 50 points more health. Get the heck out of here, stupid ass mission. And also got some money from the Empire. So yeah guys, that's it. I'll take a break from this game and I'll see you guys with the next side mission. And welcome to boring mission number two. It is called the Firecopter. The Firecopter is located over here. What you need to do in order to activate the Firecopter mission is to enter the Firecopter and activate it. Pretty pretty easy stuff so far. 
Now all you gotta do is you have a tank as you can see and you have to pull out, put out fires on the screen. You can see them on the map right over there. As it tells you up there you have a water meter and if it empties out you are done. So you have to watch out for the water meter and just go for the fires. You have a time limit of course, like always, and fortunately this mission does not require 15 levels, it only requires 5 levels, which are still quite a lot. Okay, there we go. There we go. It's pretty easy to pull out the fires. And you have to be pretty close to them in order to do it. So there we go. Oh, first one done. First one done. It's not the whole level unfortunately it's only one fire i have to pull out two more fires Ugh. anyway these are spread out pretty evenly which is fine they're pretty close and i have to suffer through this for probably a half an hour i guess it's not obviously not as long as the oh, bam it's obviously not as long as the previous mission i did a rescue and it's uh, actually pretty a lot easier than that mission. This one is a lot easier than that mission because I don't know, just pick another patient. You have to be precise in order to do it. Also, the the fires are always in the same location. They are not random. So if you learn a pattern where they are gonna spawn, it's gonna be a lot easier for you. But still, it's, it's I mean it's the same thing. I mean. You shouldn't have too much trouble even if you don't know the locations. So there we go, the first one is done, I have a tank, I have a tank left. And as soon as you go to do the last level, you can refill, the next level, you refill your tank. So if you're almost out, it's gonna refill for the next level. Which is pretty dang cool, cause I don't know how else you would do it anyway. There we go. Just land over here, refuel the tank, and done. Level 1 complete. Let's go and do level 2. I'll do this off camera, as you can see these are the next locations. And I'll see you guys at level 5. I have never in my life been more annoyed at a GTA game ever. Seriously, absolutely never. You know, when I stopped, when I finished my previous playthrough of the game when I wasn't recording, I said to myself, finally, this shit is done. I'm gonna play this only in a walkthrough, never again am I gonna open this stupid game. So when I started the walkthrough, I said, holy crap, it's so amazing, look at this mission, look at that mission, look at this character, the missions are so great, this game, why did I hate this game so much? Huh, what made me hate the game so much? It's such a great, awesome game. But now this video came. And yes, this mission, this video, this... This game is a piece of shit. It's badly coded. It's so mega repetitive. It's so buggy. The graphics, the popping, everything's so poorly optimized. It's a shit show, guys. If this was properly developed for a PC, I know I'm a PC fanboy, deal with it. If it was developed for a PC in mind, this would have been such an awesome game. And if it didn't have such an, a stupidly, annoyingly, you know, missions, repetitive missions, side missions, it would be such an amazing game. So, yes, the only way to refill your water bucket is from the water. I had to redo this stupid ass mission three times. The first time because of a pop-in. There was a ship which I had to worry about. I had to extinguish some shit on the ship and I got to the ship like normal. Also avoid this area by the way. They're gonna shoot you if you go straight on top of it. The first time uh, I went to the ship, just like normal, what happened is some containers spawned in front of me. So the helicopter crashed, it exploded. 
that was level 4. Second time you saw it, the only way to refuel a stupid bucket is via the water. What happens if you touch the water? You explode! Sometimes, because it's a bug! Oh, come on, come on, I can't see. Go, 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 go. I can't see. Look at this, also the camera! This is also a reason why you would want to play this on a PC, because you can control your camera like normal! Come on, come on, I don't want to feel the, the water, the, the bucket again and crash. Oh, finally! Let's go! Far away. Yeah, guys, this is a shit show. This game is stupid. It's terrible. Don't play it. I mean, for a casual player, this game is great. The missions are great. So many creative missions. So many awesome characters. The city. Vice City, guys. Vice City is a great city. It has a few changes from Vice City, which make it from the original Vice City, which make it a little bit better because we have a few shortcuts, like a shortcut for the airport, for instance. There's a bridge from the military base to the land mass. So, yeah, it's a better city, kinda. But again, for a hardcore player like me, who wants to complete the game at 100%, it's a shit show, it's terrible. So that's it guys, this stupid mission took me 2 hours to complete because I had to repeat it 2 times. And I'm losing my voice because I got so frustrated I went for a walk. And after this video I'm actually gonna stop playing for 2 weeks because I can't stand it. Seriously, this is I can't stand the game at the moment. Okay, so this is it for this mission. I'm gonna go save the stupid game and go do the next mission. And welcome back people to the next mission in the video. Vice Sites is the next mission. It's located right over here. This helicopter in the airport. You have to enter the helicopter and that will activate the mission. Let's go, let's begin. Vice Sites. So what I did was I, after the last mission I took a, a week break because I couldn't stand the game. Now I'm fresh, now I'm excited to play again and after this mission I'll be so annoyed again and I'll stop playing again. <laughs> it's a good thing I pre-record some of these videos. For instance I record, like in two days I could record three videos and upload them in for two weeks. I have things to upload. Which is good, because sometimes I get annoyed, like right now. Okay, let's go. What you have to do in this mission is to take the tourists to the destinations over here and hold the, the helicopter steady so they can take pictures and the fun meter has to be, you know, uh, pretty... a lot, it has to be full, pretty much full, in order to complete the mission, if it goes to low you lose of course in order to increase it you have to get to the destination fast and flying lower increases it too so that's a good thing too fly low fly fast and go to the checkpoints as fast as possible if you see it decreasing way too quickly just go down below and it's gonna fill up pretty 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 fast okay let's go take pictures go 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 and done. Okay, next pictures. We have three sites to go to. And since I said sites, yes, this is pretty similar to see the site before your flight in Liberty City Stories, and it's also called Vice Sites. So yeah, it's pretty similar, pretty similar mission. In this one, we have to use a helicopter. In LCS, we didn't have spawnable helicopters. You could fly helicopters via glitches, but they weren't really introduced to you in any way. You couldn't really fly them outside of glitches, so in this mission, in this game, we at least we have helicopters, which kinda sucks for some things, because some missions require helicopters and they require 15 levels to complete. Fortunately though, this mission requires only 5 levels. So far it isn't that bad, but it's gonna get bad. <laughs> Because it's, it's still a pretty long mission, even with 5 levels 
I'll do this guys and I'll see you after I reach level 5. And welcome guys back to this stupid thing. <laughs> ah, this video is gonna be so boring to watch, you're gonna get so annoyed like me. This is not a very annoying mission because it didn't take me hours, plural. <laughs> it took me probably a half an hour, I don't know. It's the least of all the evil you saw in this video, but don't you worry, we have some more evil coming up. We have the Beach Patrol mission. And that is also pretty repetitive because it is 15 levels. This is 5 at least. And nothing really changes in the later levels of this, except that you have a, little, a few more checkpoints. You had 4 checkpoints in level 5. So, with that I will put the end to this mission. Also, there was no re reward in the last one and after this one there's also no reward except for money. Is money really a reward because the game is broken by design with all the empires because you constantly get so much money from the empires. You don't need money at all in this game. This is also a reason why I hate it. Enough bashing the game, let's end this stupid mission and let's continue on with the next one. Mission complete! As you can see we get even more empire money. Ah, whatever. Let's continue with the next mission. And welcome back people to Beach Patrol. This mission is also pretty repetitive but not as much as the ones you saw in this video. If you enter this BF injection it's gonna activate the mission. Now for this mission what you have to know is that you have three options. Two land ones and also a sea version. They are called Save the Swimmers, Biker Gang and Paramedic. Let's see which one of three versions I'm gonna get now. So this is the C one. What I'm gonna do is since this is 15 levels, we have to do 15 levels of this mission. What I'm gonna do is do 5 levels, get the checkpoint and then switch to the other one. So let's go here. And let's rescue some stupid people who are drowning. Hi stupid people, I'm coming to save you stupid ashes. Okay, there we go, there's the first person. Hello dummy, what you doing? Whoop, good. Level 1 has been passed. This is all you do. And later on you get more people of course. You have to rescue more people as you go. And after level 5 you're gonna get a checkpoint. But you can switch it anytime you want, you can cancel it right now if you don't want this one in particular and just switch to the other one, it's not that difficult. Which is a good option, at least you have all, an option here, not like in many of the other ones. And here we go, the last person in level 5, perfect. Level 5 has been passed and I'm gonna get a little checkpoint. There we go, what I'll do now is I'll end this mission right now and switch to the next one. Let's see which one I'm gonna get now. Is it the land one? Yes it is, awesome. We have to go here and pick up the patient. Let's go dude, collect dude. We have to basically take him to the patients and he has to revive him. So let's go and do it. That was a long walk, holy crap. Ok, stop the buggy, there we go, let's watch him. There we go, come on dude, let's take him to the next patient and this is basically all you do. You have a time limit of course again which doesn't really matter to you and what I'm gonna do is do 5 levels again of this and afterwards I'm gonna show the last version of this mission and this is the last patient I have to pick up or save I guess, not pick up. There we go mister, save the person and let's continue with the next version of this mission, come on dude. Level 10 has been passed as soon as I see the checkpoint over there. There we go. I'm gonna end the mission and I'm gonna go and steal another BF injection and continue on with the next version of this mission. Let's go, version number 3. What is it gonna be? Oh yes, the bikers. There we go, this is the last version. I was pretty lucky getting, you know, them like this. With each try I got a different version. That's great. Now what you can do is either crash into them or shoot them. Shooting them of course will bring the cops attention to you. Oh, oh, I was so close! 
Dude, come to me, come to Papa. As you can see, they're a little um, slower than me. One down, awesome. They're slower than me, which helps me quite a bit. And, and it is why this mission is still easy. Even this version of the mission is still easy because you don't actually have to shoot them. And if you shoot them, you get police attention. There we go, come on, dude. Come to Papa. So this is level one, of course. Oh, seriously? Dude, I don't wanna shoot you. I don't wanna have to shoot you. Come here. You know what I'm gonna do? Shoot you, asshole. <laughs> anyway, level 11 has been passed. And again, you can do either one of these for 15 levels if you want, or if you want some variety, like I do. I really want some variety because it has been so long since I have had variety. And that's it, I'll reach level 15 and I'll see you guys at level 15. And that's it guys, my last biker I have to take care of. Level 15 is almost complete. After this it is complete level 15. Has been passed, mission has been completed. And as you saw, I had 2 star, I, 2 star wanted level because I crashed into a cup. So the reward for this mission is that you won't get tired while swimming. If you don't know if you swim too much, you get tired and you die. But after passing this mission, you won't do that. And that also concludes the boring missions for this video. We have more boring missions for the next video, don't you worry about that. But for now they're over. Also, also, I forgot to mention something. After you pass this mission, you also can buy BF injection from Sunshine Autos. That's the second reward. I'll see you in the next episode. And welcome to mission. And welcome to boring mission number two. It is called the firecopter. The, fi the copter. The cop color. And welcome me to. And welcome to me. And welcome to more. And welcome to boring mission number two. It is called the. Ha